Okay, folks. This is the continuation of an update on the Johnny 5 larger scale build that I'm working on. I managed to get the base plate uh, started. Um, I've also had to modify the base so that we can relocate the motors that are going to control the tiptoe and the chest going up and down. Um, there was no way around that because now that the, the robot is much larger, nothing matches as expected. So what I did was I came up with some special brackets and this is the bracket that I've come up with for the motors to hold the motors in place. It's a perfect match of the motor. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drill some holes so that I can then take it and bolt them down to the base when I'm done and ready to go and test this thing. The way the motor is going to work is the motor. Motor is going to go in like this, slide in, snap into place and then I got to have four screws that are holding it in place. That's going to go right here and then it matches the cog which is going to control the tiptoe and the other motor is going to control this part going up and down. This part controls the hydraulics and here's the other motor. With the bolts. I had to do uh, some tapping to get the screws in there because when the motor arrived it had no thread so I had to tap my own threads on there. I also made a single piece that's going to allow the cog and the motor to work together without having it come loose or come apart as it's being used. I printed this piece here and designed the hole so that it fits the shaft tightly and snaps into place and all this is pressed on so it ain't going to fall out, it ain't going to come out, it's just going to work. And then as you can see this goes like that and it's going to meet with the cog that's going to bring it up and down. In the background you'll see the other Johnny 5, the small scale one with the track parts already on it. On this one, this one's going to stand about 45 inches from the ground not including the track. So it's going to be quite large, at least for me. I've also completed the chest piece This piece is going to go like this on the bottom. I haven't glued it on in place yet because I still got some work to do to it. And this is on backwards. This goes like this. So this is going to make the chest go up and down, left and right. And then this is going to go like this to go up and down. And as you can see, compared to the other size of the robot, it's quite large. It's like three or four times larger than the original size. I've also had to do a special shaft for here so that this thing can turn freely and ride on its own bearing. I had to shim the bearing so that this piece can run on the bearing freely and then I had to make a custom bracket for the servo that's going to run this and that's going to go in like so. And right now it's loose because I took the gear that controls this so that I can do some other work and test some other things before I bolt everything together. But once it's all put together, the motor will turn this and this will move freely like it is now. I've also did another bracket for the back piece of the chest where all the electronics and all the cables are going to go for the servos. As you can see I already got the electronics in there. Made this bracket and everything is coming together. That about wraps it up for this uh, update. Hope you enjoy and get an idea how big this thing is 